and it was, <laughs> it was very watching. entertaining. It was <laughs> I kept looking and I was like, and I looked at you All guys. of our eyes just went, <laughs> just okay. Kind of went, oh, that was funny. Okay, sorry about that. Anywho, uh, moving on, we've got a lot of weather to talk about. Yes. We're at probably at our warmest temperatures now than we will be even later in the day. That's right. Most people have seen their highs uh, for today already this morning. Now we're starting off with intermittent showers, and that's what we'll see throughout the daytime period. These on and off showers will be pretty light and isolated, but if one goes through again, you, know, you have to grab the umbrella real quick and they'll last for a few minutes. Now temperatures will start to cool as the day goes on. We're really going to start to feel that Arctic air pulling in as the main front pulled in yesterday, and that's what brought us the heavy rainfall overnight. Now as we go through the evening hours tonight, still a few isolated showers around through your 5 p.m., but still look temperatures in the upper 30s. But as we go through the early evening hours up towards Mount Scott, the West Hills, the highest elevations could start to see maybe a few snowflakes mixed in and some flurries possible around 9 p.m. Not look for any accumulations. Moisture really starts to get cut off as that drier air comes in, but we will see those cold temperatures coming in tonight. So there's the heaviest batch of rain towards the south. We're seeing the snow in the Cascades, and as we go into the downtown area, a scattered shower over us right now. Again, pretty light. This will last for just a few minutes, but we still have isolated showers up towards the north and west, and these will pull towards the east, south, and east as the day goes on. So what we're looking for today, those spotty showers, those snow levels start to drop to pass levels, anywhere from four to eight inches up towards government camp. Tonight, though, those snow levels drop to about a thousand feet, and then by tomorrow, it's going to be a very cold start here in the metro area. We could see some flurries possible. I think it's a very isolated chance of that one. Now, as we look at the snow totals in the Cascades, again, four to eight towards government camp, and then up to a foot in the highest elevations. No accumulations here on the valley floor, but we could have some patchy slick spots tomorrow morning, or we could have some areas of frost and some of the wet roadways that freeze overnight. So do be careful for that one and make sure that you tune in here tomorrow morning to get all the latest traffic updates. So our temperature starting in the mid to lower 40s right now for all of us, 46 in Salem, but that is just going to be the start to that colder air really working in. In fact, tonight temperatures will dip to around 30 degrees and we'll still keep the cold air around through the weekend, and this is going to be the coldest days of 2013. So as we time it out for you, notice we'll keep the snow in the Cascades, snow levels drop, and then as the day goes on, right around 3 o'clock, notice how those showers become a little bit more spotty. Again, maybe a few flurries mixing in the West Hills over or towards the early evening hours and then overnight a few flurries possible. But really, look, the moisture really uh, decreases as the dry air really moves in and the colder air. So along the coast today and in the valley in the mid to upper 40s, and that's what we've seen this morning again, falling temperatures throughout the day. As we get east of the mountains, we'll see temperatures starting in the 40s with rain and snow likely this morning becoming all snow tonight and through government camp right around uh, temperatures 52. That's not right. Actually, temperatures will be cooler than that, but we will see uh, four to eight inches possible for uh, through tomorrow. So let's detail the seven day forecast 39 for tomorrow and then 35 for Wednesday. We're going to get some really chilly east winds coming in here on Wednesday and Thursday. And then by Friday, we have another chance of seeing a few isolated snow showers coming in mainly towards the south. We'll watch that very closely. And then Saturday and Sunday looking dry with cold temperatures in the 30s. Well, of course, November is over for me and I wanted to show a couple pictures. This sent in by the River Bend Dental out of Salem, Oregon. I love this one. I told them I would show them this morning. And then check this out. This is sent in by the U.S. Coast Guard Air Station in Astoria, Oregon, and they actually raised $200 for prostate cancer research. And they put this on my Facebook, and I wanted to show that. So I thought that was a really cool thing. And, you know, notice I'm clean this morning, had to shave it off and did that. And it was a, a very sentimental <laughs> thing for me. Of course, I'm looking there. I'm like, do I really, really want to do it? Yes, I do. So I shaved it off, and of course I had to have a little fun with it and show half of a mustache wow. and half without. That's a good look. That's yeah, a good so look. Most people so far have said, I really like you, that you have it off. <laughs> this is a better look than half on, half off, yeah. though. That is true. <laughs> but a, a great Movember, so great job, Riley. Thank you.